Namaste people. So in this video, we are going to see how to delete a row from the database and use like delete the row using the name or by ID as well. So we are just going to see how to do it by name first and then we will see by ID. Uh, let's create a function for that in our class. So it will be public function with return a void. And let's just name it delete row by name and it will accept a connection parameter a connection object the table name and the name with which the row needs to be deleted of course so first we'll just create a statement of uh, again and won't initialize it no just declare it and then uh, we need a query or a try catch block first right the try catch block first and print the exception and now uh, we need to create a query and the query will be using a string format of course delete from personalist which will be the table name where name will be equal to in single uh, single quotes percentage again and then table name and then the name right and then now we need to initialize a statement And now execute the query so execute update the query and then if everything goes well uh, the row deleted your yeah, data deleted yeah, this should work for now now let's go back here we don't want to search what you want to do is db delete row by name the first parameter is gone then it's table name and then what do you want to delete we have two rajats right so let's delete let's delete abhishek first And then we need to actually read the data to see if Abhishek is still there or not. So we'll read the data after that. Let's check if this works. Data deleted. So yeah, as you can see, we only have three rows now. The, the two Rajats and then the Raj. Right, so this works great now we need to see how to uh, delete the data by id as well that is very simple and very similar to this we can just copy this function and make it delete row by id we don't want the name we want the id then here Want ID and here where EMP ID will be equal to percent s. That's it. I don't think there is anything else needed. You can call this here again. It will want to con the table name and then the id so we have two three four right so let's delete the rajat so let's read the last rajat not name okay so i did some mistake here yeah so it's delete row by id and here it should be delete row by id now let's see if this runs
data deleted as you can see now there's only two columns or uh, sorry two rows in our table and the id4 which was again rajat is deleted so this works again that's great now we need to see how to delete the table itself so let's do that in the next video thank you